Hello everyone, Gray Seeker here and welcome to the very first video of my channel. For this video I'm going to be showing you how to share your boot partition with all the Linux distributions you have installed on your system. I'm going to be using VirtualBox and Ubuntu 14.04 for this and we're going to be using BDRFS. So let's go to the installation directly. The reason for BDRFS is that, well, for this sub-volume feature, it's an awesome feature. You can uh, make sub-volumes and, you know, something like ZFS, divide the partition into sub-volumes that may be mounted separately at different mount points. Click continue, continue again, and we're going for something else and continue. Okay. Let's let us make a partition table first. An MS DOS partition table, a new partition with the BDRFS file system, but no mount point, guys. We don't want to mount this thing just yet. We will make preparations when we have this thing installed. Okay, the next one is going to be swap. Yeah, swap area and. 1 gig is enough for this virtual machine, I'm not going to be doing intensive stuff. And primary, yeah. Okay, the third one is for the root partition, and this primary, of course, we're going to leave that at an X4 and uh, set a mount point for it, and install. Okay, it's going to say you don't have a mount point, but we can leave it at that. Alright, once the thing is installed, you can, uh, you must restart your computer and go to the new booted system and open up a terminal and follow the set of commands that which will be provided shortly. Okay, so now we're in the system. Open up terminal. And as we can see, if you type mount here, you see that only one, you know, physical partition is mounted here. And besides the swap, and that's the root. So we're going to go root as a root user, sudo dash i, type the password and go in, and mount the boot partition in MNT, uh, the BDRFS partition. Okay, go into MNT and then type BDRFS subvolume create at Ubuntu. At is just a thing for, you know, it's, it's common uh, naming procedure. And then we go back and unmount the thing and then mount it again with the subvolume we just created. Mount O subvol equals at Ubuntu. The physical drive dev sda1 to mnt okay cd into it as you can see there's nothing in there just yet so what we're gonna do is that we are gonna copy all the files to this directory cp-ax boot all the files in boot a is archive copy meaning the permissions are going to be preserved and x ensures that symbolic and hard links are preserved as well Okay, as you can see, everything is copied. Go back and edit the FS tab file. Just after the where the root partition is, uh, we're gonna write our boot partition. Put a comment there to make sure everything is clean. Boot partition, that's right. And then the physical drive dev sda one. The mount point is gonna be boot. And the type is, of course, BDRFS. The option, type the option we typed earlier, subvol equals at Ubuntu. As for the dump, we want no dumping, so we put zero. And as for the pass, pass is for, you know, checking the file system. We put two, so it will be checked after the root partition. It doesn't really matter though, what value you put in since BDRFS automatically checks whether you want it or not. You can, uh, 
I think set it in at C if you want to check it or not. Okay, make an old old boot directory and copy all the files in the old boot to preserve them. So if your boot partition is corrupted somehow, you can easily restore the kernel without having to copy it from an installation disk or something. You just have everything in your root partition as a backup. Okay, as we can see, we have everything in here. So the next step is to remove the contents of the boot directory, the old boot directory. I'm not the one we just created, the one we wanted to transfer things from. Okay, now that everything is deleted, we unmount the MNT and mount it at the boot directory with the option of the subvol at Ubuntu. Yeah, dev sd one and mount it at the boot partition. Uh, let's update the grub at, by first installing it again so that it knows where everything is. Okay, let's do the MBR and update grub for updating the configuration file of everything that's just happened. Alright, as you can see, at Ubuntu is there. It's good to update your init RAMFS, update in RAMFS-U, so that the modules are correctly stored. For OpenSUSE, I think it's the same command for Fedorized Dracut F or dash R, I don't remember. And for Arch Linux is MK init CPIO P Linux. Okay, let's update the configuration file for the grub again, and then we can exit and reboot the system to see how it has gone for us. Okay, as you can see, it is checking the file system and it's booting up just fine. Uh, log in with your username and password, and let's open up the terminal to check things if everything is cool well apparently everything is but we want to make sure in the commands mount as you can see our root partition is there and at the very bottom is our boot partition mounted as BDRFS and with the sub volume you can do this for every other distribution you install on your system just install everything in one partition I mean put the boot directory in the root Separate all the others you want. And uh, then, yeah, do the following procedure to put it all back in the shared boot partition. Create uh, the dedicated sub volume and put it all in. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will come back soon with more videos on both gaming and technical tutorials. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.